I wouldn't say pressure, but I feel like I need to, you know, make him proud and be successful and do everything in my life because I'm like a reflection of him. So I want to make sure I always do things that reflect well on him. Not just like just getting the scholarship is awesome, but just the people that are here too. The whole staff is just so helpful and anything you need. Um, there's a girl that I've met here a couple times named Tatiana and through the Marine Corps Scholarship, she's a communications major like me. She was able to get um, a uh, internship with a communications um, broadcaster, I think in the DC area. It's helped fund, fund my education. So I think definitely like all the skills that I have acquired because of the Marine Corps Scholarship will help me in my future just as far as classes that I've taken and experiences that I've gotten to have because of the Marine Corps Scholarship. Well, my family feels very honored that the Marine Corps still remembers my father because at the time of his death, he wasn't in the Marines, but um, he always had this saying that he told me that once a Marine, always a Marine, and the Marine Corps scholarship has really held true to that. So my dad joined the Marine Corps straight out of college. Um, I was just born, like I was like two months old, I think. Um, and then from there, three months after his training, we moved to Okinawa, Japan, where my family and I stayed on base for three years. And then we moved to North Carolina, Jacksonville, and we lived on Camp Lejeune for another three years. And we were pretty involved, like with the military families. We had a lot of friends there, so it was like a big community. We were all family. Um, and then in, I guess, 1999, my dad, just after eight years in the Marine Corps, my dad decided that he wanted to change his career path and join the CIA. So he moved us up to Washington, D.C., and he was in the farm and did completed his training there and then 9-11 happened and him and his partner Dave decided that they bought, they wanted to volunteer to go overseas and try to find Osama bin Laden just before like the war and everything like that um, and so he went over there and he was in an area called Mazar Sharif and he was interviewing prisoners in a fortress called Kali Janki him and his partner were and they were there it was him Dave two doctors who were Afghani who were aiding the um, captured Taliban and then the Northern Alliance. And the Northern Alliance is the military over there that was kind of trained by the U.S. military but at the time not so much. So when they captured the Taliban they didn't really frisk them or check them for concealed weapons. They tied their hands in front of them, not behind them. So what ended up happening was my dad was outside interviewing, I guess he, they said there was like 30 or 30 to 50 prisoners outside with him and then his partner. And they can they had the other people, the other captured in a fort, like another little fortress called the Pink House that was inside the big fortress. And basically what they did was they set off grenades and they all escaped out of there. They all untied each other. They untied all of the prisoners out in the yard. And my dad's partner and the two doctors actually ran and they got away. And I guess my dad wanted to stay behind and see if he could kind of reconcile the situation, see what he could do with the Northern Alliance, but it was kind of him and the Northern Alliance who weren't trained exceptionally well, and my dad was killed in college Yankee. And he was, my family knew he was missing for about a week, but we didn't know if he was dead or alive or what was really going on during that time. I think that something to remember, or that I always remember, um, whenever I feel like I'm sad or I'm not good enough or I feel like I can't do something, I always think back to my dad and what a strong person he was and everything that he accomplished in life and everything that he went through and I think definitely like something they can do when they get to that point is like think back on their parents and all that their parents have done or you know whether it be their father or mother and really like just gain strength from that experience because it's really true like you do just become such a stronger person because of things that happen in your life so I think definitely like gaining strength from